Hey, Mike here. So today I'm going to showcase, I have it in my notes here. It is specifically about being able to transcribe any size audio file. So we're talking 100 megabytes, 500 megabytes, a few gigs even. Um, and all of it's done locally within your Obsidian client. And we're going to show you the process here. So here we have a video from Anthropic that I've been listening to. And I really want to get that raw transcription, but also specific timestamps of it. And I want the SRT version, which is the, you know, time script out, um, or I'm sorry, uh, time slotted transcript of it. Uh, I'm not really sure how to, uh, convey that, but you get what I'm saying. Like the SRT version. I'm sure if you've done, if you've dealt with like closed captions, you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, you have the video right here. It's a great, great video. I really recommend watching it. But, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command shift C, which is on arc. For example, I use arc, uh, browser. It copies the current pages URL to your clipboard. So now it's in my clipboard. And I already went through this process. You can see here, I typed in YTAD here, which I have an alias for within my ZSHRC, which stands for um, YouTube Audio Download Here. And so what it does is wherever I am within, uh, whatever directory I'm within, which in this case, I'm in my sync vault, I can type in YT. A D here and then the URL and it will download that audio file, the MP3 of that YouTube video to that directory. And so now, of course, it's in my, I already went through this entire process. So bear with me here. Um, now, now this was always a feature before, as long as the file was within that 24 megabyte threshold, but now that threshold is gone. So now what you can do is on a file, even if it's hours long, multiple hours long, as long as you have either a lifetime system scope license or you have a monthly license with enough credits on it. So of course, you know, um, you can hop into uh, the website. And of course, um, in the future, I'll also enable uh, local, you know, whisper transcription, but that's, you know, in the pipeline, right? We're not right now. We're really focusing on the, the meat of things, right? All of the really good features. And then we'll kind of expand upon the features again. Uh, at a later time to add in like third party providers, yada, yada. Right. Um, but yeah, you just hop in here now, you know, obviously we have all of these beautiful things. A lot of templates are coming in here. Um, so be aware of that. I would probably sign up for the little, uh, you know, newsletter. So whenever we, you know, hop in, um, a new transcript or, or resource or whatever, then you'll get a notification. You'll just get an email about it. But anyway, you'll head into the licenses, uh, tab here. And then you can see, of course, this is where the plugin is. This is the lifetime license. And now here is the monthly one with the credits based system. The lifetime one doesn't have credits just to keep that in mind because it's lifetime. Anyway, let's hop back in here. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go through the process, but all you got to do is just right click on your MP3. You can see it's an MP3 right here and then right click on it and click, uh, convert to markdown, or you can just chat with the file. That's also possible. And you know, I already did it. So you can see the transcript here perfectly done. And, you know, here's the audio file, right? You can play it. Um, but also you have the perfect transcription and from, let's see, uh, the five second mark. Is that five seconds? Yeah. I think that's from zero to five seconds, right? This is the seconds marker, I believe. And let's see, how long is this audio? An hour and 16 minutes. So let's head on down all the way to the bottom. I actually use Vim, so I can just do shift G. Here's the bottom. And let's see, one hour and 16 uh, minutes, right? So what was it again? One hour, 16. Perfect on the mark, right? And so here's the first SRT. And then the final SRT is 1,268. So you can see perfectly transcribed word for word from beginning to end all in one nice markdown file. And now I can just look, I can right click it, chat with file, right? And I can right off the bat, it's already added into my context window. Boom, there it is. Uh, obviously there's no preview because it's a large file. And now we can just type in a TLDR, right? And let's see what it says. I wonder what, uh, which template I'm using. I think I'm using the glitch template. Uh, as my default right now. But uh, yeah, this is using right now the DeepSeek R1. So that's why you can see the reasoning that's going on. And let's see what it says. So it, it obviously understands that it's a transcript about AI prompt engineering. And let's see what it says. Okay, TLDR prompt engineering is the art of hacking human language to bend language models to your will. Uh, and then yada, 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 it gives key insights. The normies miss, okay, interesting wording there. Iterations. Iteration is coping. The real skill is predicting failure modes. Okay. So yeah, I mean, 
It's a very nice TLDR. Obviously, you know, I'm using the Glitch Persona, which I made a video about uh, in, in a previous one. So it kind of really gives me the um, quick rundown of things without any filler garbage um, that usually happens with like base models. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, as you can see, very nice uh, workflow, very intuitive, really. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.